morning YouTube and we are back with the more informative style content as promised in the previous video and today we're covering something that might make some of you feel a little bit self-conscious some of you a little bit worried we're going to talk about stretch marks so yes it's a subject matter that a lot of you might not talk to your friends about but still feel quite self-conscious about and we talk about stretch marks why they happen where they might happen how you can deal with them and why you shouldn't let it affect the way you feel about your body. So let's jump straight into this video, which is sponsored by Squarespace. More on that later, but if you watched the previous video, you'll know I'm developing a website where all my content will be in one place, and I'm developing that week to week, adding more bits and structure. So there's gonna be updates constantly on there. Some of you are asking about the Tough Mudder race that's coming on. So I said this year, I'm gonna do some challenges, one being a Tough Mudder, one being a white collar boxing match, and one being a competition. And if we're gonna do this shit, we're gonna do it right. So it's looking like it's probably gonna be September, which gives us enough time to train for these things but that also means I'm probably going to be doing the white collar boxing match and the tough mudder pretty much at the same time so the content on here is going to get pretty <laughs> some links for everything that you're ever going to need from this video are going to be in the description below let's jump into this with the causes of how stretch marks come about okay like everything when I need to learn something I research so how do stretch marks come about they are caused because of damage to the skin's connective tissue so within the skin is collagen and when that gets stretched and damaged, those collagen fibers break. Now the skin has layers. We have the epidermal layer, which is the outer layer, which we all know and see. Then it has the dermal layers, those layers underneath. And it's the collagen fibers in this dermal layer that get damaged with the skin, which shows through as stretch marks. And it can show through the epidermal layer because the dermal layer gets damaged. It shows through the underlying blood vessels, which is why we get that kind of reddy pinky look to Stretch marks, so it's basically seeing the blood vessels underneath the epidermal layer from the damaged dermal layer. Make sense? So basically two layers of the skin, we've got the epidermal and the dermal, and the damage is in this layer here, and that's gonna be very important for later on in this video. Now over time, what you'll see is the redness of those stretch marks dull and it turns more silvery and white. That's because that dermal layer begins to heal and then covers that red pigmentation of the blood vessels that were damaged before from showing through, because it heals. So the main reasons we often see stretch marks on bodies is from number one, and that is some form of weight gain. Whether it be good, whether it be bad, or whether it be from something like pregnancy, where obviously there's a sudden amount of weight gain, rapid weight gain, as in fat, muscle, all these things can contribute to damaging that collagen within the skin because it's stretching the skin, kind of around the stomach, lower back, often around the chest areas. These are common places that we see it. Also from growing, rapidly. That can also cause stretch marks. A lot of people, pretty much everybody will have stretch marks on their hips from going, going through growth spurts. Factor number two may well be just genetics. As with everybody, everyone's a little bit different and some people are more prone to things than others. If people's collagen within their genetics is substantially weaker or deteriorates over time, they're going to be more susceptible to getting stretch marks and that is just nature. It's not something you can change so don't worry about it. If you're susceptible, you, it's just the way you are. You're just going to need to be more careful in terms of weight gain and ensuring that you take care of your skin. Number three is you may also see some huge hench guys with big stretch marks across their chest and back. That may well be due to some muscle gain but it may also be a causality of the fact of the little monster we have to face with most gyms, people take drugs and when they take steroids that can often weaken collagen in the skin which like I said previously, weaker collagen means people are more susceptible to stretch marks and if they're putting on a lot of weight in a short period of time, that's why it happens. Can you fix them? Is there a cure? And I'm just gonna be blunt with it, no. Nothing that will completely rid you of stretch marks, but there are some things that could help you should you wish to choose them. We're gonna cover those now. The number one thing that you need to know if you have stretch marks is they are there. You have them, you can't wish some things away, and some things like any scar that we get from falling over, crashing bikes or whatever, they're just a story that our body tells. Over time, you will be able to improve the way these things look and just naturally the body will heal. So I know that it sucks, and I know that it might make you feel down, but understand you are not alone. Pretty much 99.9% .9 of people will have stretch marks on their body somewhere. It's just that some people are more unlucky to have them in more visual areas than others. And to prove to you that 99.9 by 999% of people all have stretch marks, I'm going to show you mine. Now you're probably thinking, Lex, she ain't got no stretch marks. Wait, if I lift my arm here, you can see pretty nasty looking stretch marks that just luckily for me sit under my armpit and the chest muscle, shoulder muscle, 
kind of curves them underneath. Got really lucky. And this one here has a little bit of a tail to it. Now, I do have them on both sides. A little bit less, you can see here, but definitely they still run in the same direction. I also have stretch marks on my hips, but they're very hard to see because they're from when I was younger and had growth spurts. Basically gone completely silvery white. But if you take a look at this picture here, you can see that I do have subtle stretch marks on my chest. You can see that they're really, unless the clarity is turned up on an image digitally, you can't really see them. That's what I'm talking about. If you take care of your skin over time, they will reduce. If I hold my arm here, normally you can see that they're reduced. It's only when I pull them tight and then expose that dermal layer by pulling the epidermal tight that you can see the redness again. But if I let go, you see that it lessens hugely. But the tail behind this stretch mark is a little bit funny. This one was accentuated more than this one because of a good friend of mine called Ben at university. Do you know when you're a young lad at university and you know when you're trying to impress the ladies by putting on their clothes? Huh? Okay, yeah, that sounded weird. Let me give it context. We were mucking around and we we're about to go on a night out and I thought it'd be funny to put on one of the little, and I mean little girls, jean jackets. So there I am with this jean jacket on, much like this. Now denim, a little bit, a little bit easier to get in than it is to get out of. So I generally got stuck in this denim jacket, at which point my mate Ben went, let me help you out of that Lex, grab the back of the collar and just <laughs> At which point, oh crap, stuck in this one. Oh. Oh. At which point the denim seam, which was sat here, went from there to there at about 100 miles an hour with no give. And literally the moment that he pulled on that, I got the jacket off, Instantly, this stretch mark went from medium to massive. Purple, that was how bad it was. But, as I said, luckily, they sit in the crevice of my arm. Moral of the story is, I would not make a good cross-dresser. Second moral of the story is, to look at me, you wouldn't think that I suffer from any kind of stretch marks. But, I mean, if I'm moving around normally like this, they are on show, people can see them. And I know that if you have them, or you have them in areas like on your stomach or your lower back, I know it can be a, a bit of a punch in the nuts to your self-confidence. Punch in the boob if it's the girls we're talking here, but just understand you're not alone. Everybody does have them and nobody's looking at anybody else's body with stretch marks and going, ooh, what are they? Because we know, because we all have them, but nobody's thinking a negative thing about you to do with those stretch marks. And even though there is no cure, there are a few options available to you depending on how much you want to really invest in improving the way they look and how much they bother you. So we'll start with the more extreme route, which is the medical route. So one of the best known things on the market at the moment is a cream known as retinoic acid or Retin-A. The reason this cream is good is because it can get through the epidermal layer into that lower dermal layer. And what it does is it help repairs collagen within that layer of skin. The more that we can repair those collagen fibers, the better that you're going to heal and the less you'll be able to visually notice those stretch marks over time. This cream is best use on fresh stretch marks. So fresh damage so that when it penetrates down as the collagen fibers begin to heal and as the blood vessels and everything around it are damaged heal, it helps that healing process to be more progressive. Downsides to this art is only available through a medical professional. You can't just buy this over the counter. So yes, it can help, but it's only thought to be beneficial on freshly damaged skin. Number two is a really well-renowned treatment and this one can be utilized on anybody and this is laser light therapy. So this utilizes pulsed dye lasers and intense pulsed light to improve the appearance and increase collagen production over time. Sounds good, huh? Here's the drawback. It costs two to three hundred dollars per session and you're going to need around about 20 sessions to be able to see significant reduction in those stretch marks. So this is a huge financial investment, but it does have proven results across the board. So now let's take a look at what you're probably more interested in and that is the home remedies. No matter what anybody tells you, there is zero, zero, nada, none, nothing on the market that can directly get through to that dermal layer and attack the stretch mark, the damage of the stretch marks. No matter what it says, they're talking b -b 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 bullshit. But that doesn't mean they don't have their place. By keeping our epidermal layer hydrated, supple and elastic, that's going to reduce the chance of getting further stretch marks in the future. Plus, if we can improve this epidermal layer, chances are that damage that's sitting in a dermal is going to look less aggressive. Number one, and that is sunscreen, because I know a lot of people who have stretch marks will be told, get out in the sun, it'll help them heal faster, if your skin is also kept healthy. So by wearing sunscreen appropriate to your skin type for the weather, listen, if you've got red hair, you can't be tanning out there like a Jamaican. 
By wearing the sunscreen and keeping your skin healthy, stopping it getting sun damage, you're going to improve the elasticity of the skin, you're gonna stop the collagen in the skin breaking down, which in turn is gonna be more preventative in stopping further stretch marks, and two, helping the ones that you might already have heal faster and look better over time. Number two, and this is a real simple one, Yep, stay hydrated. Most of us are massively underhydrated through the day. You need to be drinking around two to three liters per day. Keeping hydrated is going to massively help you keep the skin looking good. Alongside a good moisturizing routine, hydration is one of the key factors of keeping healthy looking skin. Not only that, it's gonna help you with mental alertness and help you feel better generally. So trust me, grab a couple of bottles of water, and chug away through the day. Number three. As I just mentioned then, moisturizing. But there is a way of doing this. Do it after you have been in the shower. This is when the skin is more susceptible to be able to take in moisture. So get out of the shower, pat yourself down, towel dry, and lather that bad boy up. Creams or oils, whatever takes your fancy, but do it after the shower. It's when the skin's more permeable, it's when it's gonna be able to be nourished the most. Plus, you're already derobed, you're already wet, it's a great time to do it, and it's a good part of the day to build it into your routine. So rather than adding something into your day where you like to forget it, already add it onto a part of your daily routine, which is cleaning yourself. At least I hope it is. For this, a lot of people will be pushed towards bio oils, but they can be super expensive and they're good at healing scars in the epidermal layer, which is why a lot of people often think they're gonna help with the stretch marks. But any moisturizer is gonna help you if you're not already using one. Just have a play around, find ones that don't sit too heavy on the skin, but also don't absorb within 10 seconds. Something like this is what I tend to use, and this is an aloe vera based body lotion. The lotions that tend to be better because they go on a little easier and a little faster to be able to cover larger areas. Other than that, you could also use some really natural things, just like some coconut oil, even olive oil. Lifestyle or supplementation. Number one would be to take a look at your vitamin E levels. Now obviously you can supplement with vitamin E, but also your diet should be rich in micronutrients and vitamins as best you can. Don't rely on just supplements. So more colors on your plate, the better. But vitamin E is important because it reduces oxidative stress on the skin, which can help with premature aging and skin damage over time. So a very important one to make sure that you have. And number two, talking about diets, make sure that you are not focused on massive changes in your diet. Drastic weight loss or drastic weight gain can be two huge negative things and be a massive factor in the cause of stretch marks. So if your goal is to grow bigger, get more muscular, make sure that you're doing it over time. Don't suddenly go from eating 2,000 calories a day to eating 6,000 calories a day. Number one, it's gonna burn a hole in your pocket. And number two, your body can only grow at a certain rate. So if you're piling in calories above the rate at which your body can go, you're basically just gonna put on fat, gain masses of excess weight you don't need, and massively increase the risk of stretch marks. On the flip side of that, extreme weight loss. If you are heavily overweight right now and you want to drop weight, that is great, but make sure you do it over a long period of time. If you do anything drastically, number one, it's probably not going to last, and number two, you're gonna end up not allowing your body to adapt to your new size. If you allow your body to drop at a little bit of a slower rate, we're hopefully gonna reduce some of the excesses that we see by the end of it if you have been massively overweight. So give your body the best chance, whether it's gain or whether it's weight loss, do it constructively, do it consistently, and do it over a longer period of time. The results are gonna last and the damage is gonna be lessened. So there you go, I hope that has helped you out. I hope it's helped you realize that there are some things that you can be doing to help prevent them in the future. Some stuff there that you can do to help if you already suffer from stretch marks, but more importantly, understand that you are not alone. You are not the only person to suffer from them. Pretty much everybody does, and nobody's looking at you in a negative fashion, so don't let it knock your confidence, and certainly don't let it stop you doing what you wanna do or showing your body. Trust me, we're all beautiful in our own special way. Any of the information that I have put into this video, I'm going to put onto that website. As I mentioned before, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. A huge thank you to them because they're helping me push out new content to you guys and supporting me whilst I'm doing it. Squarespace, if you don't know, is a website development feature that you can utilize yourselves to develop your very own websites really easily. It's all drag and drop systems and you can select your own domains. And to help you even further from this video, what I'm gonna do is put all the information in this video onto a blog page which I will put onto that website today for you to be able to read through everything that I talked about in your own time. And if there's anything relevant there that I can add links to, I will do. So you will be able to find that on my website which I developed through Squarespace. And if you want to do a similar thing, you can do it with 10% off and free for two weeks if you go to www.squarespace.com forward slash Lex. Or if you just want to go straight in, you can use the discount code at the checkout, Lex. Simple as that. 
So make sure to check out the information on that website. It also has on there links to my channel, link to my Instagram, and also the Crewcast will be linked there, which is my own podcast. If you've noticed that's been missing for a week or two, don't worry, it's not gone. It's just on a hiatus because I'm starting to just divide the way I do things up a little bit more. Basically, I just want to make the way information is given to you guys a little bit easier to find and a little bit more set up in structure in the way I release it. So more information will be coming on that soon. Plus, the final update will be we will be traveling to Ireland to come and see you guys with Gymshark. That is happening very, very soon, so stay tuned to find out about the pop-up store, all the details, dates, and times. But we will be there from the 17th of July all the way through to the following Monday, which I think is about the 21st. So we're gonna be there creating content, the pop-up store, and hopefully, hopefully, still enjoying some of this beautiful sunshine. Please make sure to hit that like button. It really does help the channel. Hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any future videos or just check out the website. So until the next video, I'll leave you with a boom baby and we're out.